put the things in the ground and they grow. You put the things in the ground and they grow. You put the... Oh, hello there. When I'm not working on cars, my wife makes me garden. I mean, she enjoys it when I garden. I mean, I love plants. Whatever, she's never gonna watch this anyway. Anywho, a few months ago we built a greenhouse and as it so happens, we videotaped it. So now that it's spring, it feels like it's time to show it to you. Can we, uh, can we get a preview for them? There it is, wait. No, just, just bring it back. What do you mean we can't show it to them? We have to keep them in suspense because, wait, there it is, there it is. Nope. So anyway, up next, we're gonna take a patch of dirt from zero to, to greenhouse, I guess. It's a thing. There's gonna be a few episodes on this. We start with making a fence into a gate so we can get a bobcat back here and do some damage to dirt. Then we build a deck to put the greenhouse on. And finally, we get to the greenhouse itself, the main event. So hit subscribe to stay tuned for all that. And you know, maybe throw a like or two our way. You can do two, right? Well, anyway, just hit something. So without further ado, greenhouse, write me out. Hey, Aaron, can you bring me the baby? Sure. You have to plant you so you grow up big and strong. Oh my gosh. You need to be at least three times this size. Today we're going to start building a greenhouse. I have my cart of things here to help us. Um, we have a welder, some extension cords, grinder, zip ties, welding accoutrement, uh, paint, wire clippers, you know, all the bare necessities that you need in order to build a greenhouse. So why are we building a greenhouse? Well, because my wife wants one. And rumor has it that if you keep your wife happy, she will let you continue buying things for cars. So that's what we're gonna do. And to help us here today, we have Bear. Say hello, Bear. This is the area where we're going to be building the greenhouse. And I'm not sure if it really comes through or not, but the ground is sloped kinda this way. So first step, we need to level the ground so we can build a deck for the greenhouse to go on. It's a lot of dirt. So I don't really want to use a shovel. Uh, so we're gonna try and rent a skid steer to level that. And in order to do that, we need to get it back here. Uh, it's definitely not gonna fit down the stairs, so we're gonna come in the other way, through the fence. Um, so I'm going to turn this fence panel into a gate. And since this is on a walking trail, you can kinda see it back there. We are going to install a bulldog for security. And here she is right here. This is the mean, vicious dog that will be protecting our backyard. No, not really, she's not a good enough guard dog at all. She just loves everyone. So this is the bulldog. Uh, it's a gate thing with a code and a lock and whatnot. So turn this into a gate, put some hinges on the side. I've got some uh, square tube that matches this. We're gonna put in a post there, put in a post on the other side, hinge, lock, and we should have a gate. Slight problem. We lost a magnet on the other side of the fence. And now, we have to go fishing for a magnet that is stuck in the briars. I always hated fishing. There we go. Okay, crisis averted.
I don't know if you can hear that, but it's hissing. Like there's water in the wa in the channel there, and it's boiling as we weld. It's interesting to say the least. So we got this side welded up. Got the bar on, got the hinge on all the way up. Got the top hinge, this bar is welded on. So all we gotta do now is cut this off right here and it should swing, um, but we're gonna wait till tomorrow to do that because we can't finish it tonight. Yesterday we got our hinges mounted up, this bar put in place so the hinges have something to hinge on. Uh, today we're gonna cut out this piece right here that we don't need. Uh, both on the top and the bottom. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna put another bar in place that we can put uh, the latch on and we'll, we're actually gonna weld the latch to the fence. Uh, the kit says to use bolts, but that doesn't seem very secure for intruders. So welding it is. So I was taking this bolt out here so I could get the fence off and actually turn it into a gate. And I got the wrench stuck in there and the screws in all the way out. So now I can't get my wrench out and it won't tighten. It's because it's one of those ratcheting wrenches. It just gets tighter and tighter. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to cut it out. I just wound up cutting the screw out. Crisis averted. Is that our second crisis? There's so many crises with turning a fence into a gate. It's surprising. Turns out the cutoff wheel is not long enough to get through bars up here to cut them off, get the gate open. So we're about to go up and over. And this dog on the other side might eat me. I'm not sure. Let's see what happens. And there you have a gate. So the gate is all welded up now. There's a nice like rubberized coating on all of this and we burned that to crap. So paint all around. Uh, and then we're gonna get to mounting the control panels somewhere out here. We're gonna wire down and around and back to the control panel and putting a remote button so you can open it from the inside over there somewhere. And then bear proofing it. Bear loves a good bear proofing. That is that. The gate is done. Aaron's cleaning out all the brush. This is the gate in action. Got your secret tree button here. Opens the gate. And then you got your keypad here. Secret code. Opens the gate. So, now we have access. To get a skid steer back here tomorrow, move some more dirt around. Over here is where we're going to be moving dirt. And these these blue lines, I forget. We drew a few. I forget exactly which is which, but something is going to get moved in this area. So more to come. 